Hello, spiritual seekers, on this lovely Saturday. In spite of whatever it is, and I'm just gonna say whatever it is, the brokenness, the pain, trauma, and what had to be regurgitated in order for you to go forward into what it is that God has called you to, pressing, for, for, pressing towards the higher calling Christ Jesus. All of it, this discombobulation, life is just still too grand to be bitter. Most high saints of God, oh my goodness, I'm drained, I'm tired. But in my weakness, I am strong in Christ Jesus and God has a word and I have to get straight to the word. But first, let me just hit a prayer because confusion just tried to step in. I glorify your name this morning, Abba, for without you we're nothing. I thank you, God, that there's one mind, one body, one spirit, God, as you begin to break a band, break the world asunder, break the bands asunder, that which what is not like you, God, so that your call servants can go forward in you to break world systems as you begin to make crooked paths straight for you said that you will go before us, God, and I thank you that the Holy Ghost is going before this nation over the world, God, that your people who have an ear to hear will hear what the Spirit of the living Lord say, God, for many are called, but few are chosen. You said it will be a small remnant, God, to prepare to be prepared for the latter day church. And I thank you, God, for this opportunity, God, even in my brokenness and my whining state, God, you're still God and God alone. Thank you, God, for sitting on the throne, sitting high and looking low. Now let highly decrease in the spirit of the living Lord increase. Holy Ghost, have your way in this place. Saturate this building. And let it be your voice that the people hear. In the name of Jesus, amen, 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 amen. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's get to it. Around, rough around 3 a.m. I heard, okay, first of all, God said, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and blessed are your ears, for they hear. Uh, many have desired, many holy have desired to hear and see what you see before, but they they, they didn't, they lack to see it. In the name of Jesus, and there's nothing that, um, I'm not perfect, I, I fall short of the glory of God all the time, but this has been my prayer. I've sat with God since 2008, and when I met him, when I saw the glowing cross, every time I see that light, I take up my cross, and I've been chasing after Christ ever since. So this has been my prayer. I have not, pray, I don't, I have not prayed for wealth. I have not prayed for, uh, I prayed for my loved ones, but I have not prayed for no no husband. I, I, God, I, I got, you got to show me this light. I, I need to know what this is that I'm seeing. Because I know that there's something beyond what it is that I see. Because you showed me a glimpse of it. So he said, if you seek me, then ye shall find me. And that's what that's been my prayer. And whoa, oh my God. Okay. Round 3 a.m. Help me, God. I heard. I'm looking and I'm praying and I saw the spirit. In the realm, parallel realms. The evil forces say again they do not know and I'm in my spirit no I don't know what you're going to tell me and then I heard world systems help me God bring this back to my remembrance world system and then I heard my brother's name Richard Richard's genie is dead in the name of Jesus and all of this, I'm like, oh my God, what is all this? So I'm, I'm trying to pray in the spirit, and I'm trying. I have, I'm, I'm working throughout the midnight hour, and God said, there's a purpose for you working. You're really laboring in the spirit, learning how to watch throughout the midnight hour. And then I begin to hear, world system is like a maze. It will have you discombobulated in your mind. Um, in the name of Jesus, help me, God. The world system discombobulated in your mind. He says, since the beginning of the foundation of time, he said, the people age, but they never grew. And then I saw a merry-go-round. And he said, it's like, he said, the people have played, took the world as like a playground. He said, and I heard Satan say, that's the reason why I put a playground in there. And he said, it's been like uh, sweets. He said, so that's why I threw a little sweets in there. And a lot of people, they take on more sweets than what it is that they need for nourishment for their soul. 
and they play with the world like it is a game, like it is their playhouse. This is what I'm hearing in the spirit. And he says, the ones who have tried to go into the world system, they have failed. And the ones who is connected there, they have a, a, a wicked and vile heart. And it's a monetary value. Loose this money thing in the name of Jesus. High glory for God. Thank you, Jesus. Handerobo, shake it in. You have, okay, okay, thank you, Jesus. Men, real men make the world, but real women make the world go round. And they have loose and allowed women who is unstructured and disciplined to go in to try to rule world systems in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Loose this word in the name of Jesus. My God. Thinking too low in the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, loose this word. And well, God just began to allow me to hear about the world system. He says, I got to get you close to Because if I can get your foot, a foot in it, in the name of Jesus, I can begin to loose what else it is that has the world system all discombobulated. It's like a maze. He said, your mind, I, saw, I literally saw minds twisted in the name of Jesus um, and Satan meant for it to be like that he said it's a system within a system of evil demons that is ruling the system the world system in the name of Jesus and I begin to hear him say crooked paths made straight if I could just get you and it's not just you he says as I'm allowing you to build because uh, that which what is trying to come in, their hearts have not been made right. So that's the reason why it seems like you're alone, but you're not alone. God is with you in the name of Jesus. He says, I have sent my angelic beings before you, or ahead of you, and do in due season the right team will come along and you will begin to uh, speak and battle over world systems in the name of Jesus. Help me, God. Loose this hand on oh boy, shake it world system in the name of Jesus. And he says, the reason why I place this mantle on you, which is a, a, a man's position in the name of Jesus, and why you have had to fight with so many men in the name of Jesus. He says, because if I can get one, one woman that will battle and stand up, then I can get the rest, the men to see and begin to step into position to where they're supposed to be. Because man is the head of the house in the name of Jesus. But it is a purification that you have got to go through in the name of Jesus. God had given me this vision, a rehabilitation vision, a vision in the name of Jesus. He said, but before you can rule the vision, he said, you're going to have to go through the training process yourself in the name of Jesus. And those who I place before you will have to go through the training process themselves in the name of Jesus. A consecration and being prepared to minister to the people to put them back out into the population. The world system Quicker past being made straight. And look, this is not my word. This is what the word said. Jeremiah 51 and 30. It says, mighty men of Babylon have forborn to fight in the name of Jesus. They have remained in their holes and their might have failed in the name of Jesus. They became as women and they they became as women in the name of Jesus. God had already put in my spirit Men acting like women and women acting like men in the name of Jesus. This is not my word. Jeremiah 51 and 30. And it says, they have burned their dwelling places. Her bars are broken in the name of Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. Son. God said, I heard God saying, many have desired to go and come this way, which you have came, and they have failed. God says your family line in the name of Jesus, which it involves the nation in the name of Jesus. He says, the reason why they don't know, it blows my mind. He said, it was the family in the name of Jesus that killed your spiritual father. He said, it was love, wasn't it? just blow my mind. I just fell out in, in my spirit. If I, I, I just, I had almost wicked in my knees. In the, I said, Lord, I can't fall out of here. If I fall out of here, Lord, they're going to send me home. And I, you know, I, I got to stay. I got to stay in position. I, my knees buckled. He said it was a family in the name of Jesus. Uh, for greed, power in the name of Jesus. Because the parents had stepped up into the children's place. Because um, they say, you know, uh, to enter into God's place, uh, spirit, you have to uh, return, uh, come as a child. So 
For a long time, the parents has been walking as the children in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Help me, Holy Ghost. And the greed of the, and the evil wickedness of the kids, because they was uh, minds was being poisoned by it's like the serpent beguiled Eve, and the uh, Joe Jackson poisoned the minds of the children and, and turned the children against the father in the name of Jesus. So it was the, the adults acting like children, and it was the children that uh, the family who slew the. Um, of your uh, spiritual father, Dr. King, in the name of Jesus, huh? and which who had, had supposed to have been a representation of Joe Jackson in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Help me, God. Hundo do bo shake it in. Oh, Lord. Mm. Every lying spirit, you're not welcome here in the name of Jesus. Help me, God. Hundo do bo shake it in. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Y'all. I've been warring in the spirit. And every time I go through warfare, my body go through warfare. This is my hair. Bits and pieces of my hair just been just been falling out in the name of Jesus. And, and God began to allow me to see, okay, world systems in the name of Jesus. He says, some days I'll just fall out in here. And I, I sleep for hours. I mean, hours on top of hours. And I'll be trying to get up and I'll be trying to wake up, but I can't. But God began to allow me to see. He says, what's happening is, it's like whenever um, God says it's not good for man to be alone. So he put man to sleep in the name of Jesus. And he broke man's rib and he made woman in the name of Jesus. He says, so whenever I allow those deep sleeps to fall on you, it is so much happening. It is so much that there are... Um, that in the spiritual realm, they is basically speaking into your spirit in the name. It's just like they say, whenever you came through the birth canal and you came through the womb of eons of time, you forgot what God was talking to you and what was dealing with you was who you was in the spirit in the name of Jesus. That's the reason why you go through so much in your life in the name of Jesus. Before you can govern over world systems and before you can go in and tackle on world systems, you have, have got to have went through the training process of God. So whenever I wake up out this deep sleep and so much warfare is going on i've been fighting in the spirit huh? and when god began to talk to me about my knee in the name of jesus satan said that was me my knee that you shot i came in the name of jesus it's not i didn't come to pick a fight with you but i came to pick a fight with the one that was standing behind you as a shield it's like you see me but it's someone said Final destination, that's what God I heard. Final destination, the movie Final Destination. He said, your life and your family's life, he says, what had happened was, as, as you got older, you came onto the scene in the name of Jesus, and we're not lacking in our gifts in the name of Jesus. Um, because of the wickedness in the, of, of man's heart, it keeps a lot of people uh, spiritual wickedness rests in high places to try and test the people. And if you fail huh, the test of God in the name of Jesus, because um, 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 uh, you're going to go through multiple trials and tribulations. And if you fail, then it shows that you're not worthy to um, press forth into the gifts and operate in the gifts of God in the name of Jesus. And had what had happened when your spiritual father left, and had the family came together before time, the wickedness would have wiped out the whole line. That's what God began to do. Hold on, God, give it to me. Okay, God, he began to continue to talk about the bullet that my dad, my dad had a bullet that was lodged in his side that was never ever removed. And in 2013, when I had my episode, it's it's like um, seasons. And everything that Satan had watered up, Satan got he had he had he got the whole world watered up. And as a prayer, as, and as you were praying, and he's loosening it in the name of Jesus. It's like the wine press. Every time he uh, every, he winded it, everything up. So every time he unwinds it, it's pain, but it's loosened. It's loosened what it is that he has tied up and what he has stolen. Help me, Holy Ghost. So whenever I had my a uh, fatal, and I left it. I, I, they had to resuscitate me three times. And God began to show me the bullet that was lodged in my side. He said that was the bullet 
in the name of Jesus. The spiritual death that your dad died for you in the name of Jesus. It took your breath for him. And that's when God we brought back to mind. He said, but the breath I blew into dirt in the name of Jesus. It came down through the eons in time and it filled your lungs and it healed you in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Satan meant for that to have happened. The reason why he allowed the assassination of world leaders to happen in the beginning, in the name of Jesus, because he said he was he was meaning to wipe out the whole line of nation of world leaders in the name of Jesus. He meant for the people to be in bondage so that at this day and time, that the people will be so lost out in the world, that they will worship, that they will bow down and they will worship Satan in this place in the name of Jesus. But I had to save or push aside a small remnant for such as time as this in the name of Jesus. He said, that's the reason why you have it so hard in this place in the name of Jesus. I remember I was praying one day and I heard my, my granddad. I never ever met my granddad. He said, he says, no, leave Heidi alone. Huh? Let her do it. Huh? He says, it's, it's so that the, um, you won't be crippled. Huh? He said, you got so many people huh, that is running to the pastor. The pastor's job is to shepherd the people, not to cripple the people. The people we come together, but not to cripple one another. Huh? And I was taught to how about the uh, the undergirding, huh? the undergird in the name of Jesus. He says, but now they're so, okay, he gave the vision of uh, Babel, the Tower of Babel. He said, that's the reason why your family, it's not just about my family, but it's the ones who have would have been linked to the family. So it's it would have he was he stood before nations. Dr. King stood before na the nation and he traveled around the world in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. The world uh, Babel, he 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 used the, the what I see when I see Dr. King before the nations, he's he's still speaking in the spiritual realm in the name of Jesus. Um God showed me the tower of Babel. He said, So what happened is I had to come down, confine the people, and separate the family in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Thank you, Jesus. Hundredable shake it in. Oh my God. I speak in the humblest manner. My God in the name of Jesus. My God, in the name of Jesus, help me, God, in the name of Jesus, help me, God, in the name of Jesus. Handleable, shake it in. Oh, my, my, loose this word, say it, loose this word in the name of Jesus. My God, in the name of Jesus, handleable, shake it in. My, okay, many women who God had tried and set this, this, that came this way. They failed because you were stinking too low in the name of Jesus. And it's like an, uh, an abusive relationship in the name of Jesus. Um, uh, because the women allow themselves to go through it and be ab abused in the name of Jesus. So now they have to depend on the people. So now the people think, well, oh, I did you wrong. So now I have to lift you up huh? in the name of Jesus. God says, I, no, I called you. Huh? And if I be lifted up, then you shall be lifted up. I'll draw all men unto me. Huh? I will, in the name of Jesus, I'll open doors for you. Huh? That no man, huh? No man can open in this place in the name of Jesus. Huh? He said, so that's the reason why Satan is fighting against you. Huh? The way he has fought against you. And I'm not, it's not that he, he and okay, thank you God, loose this word, loose my tongue. Even though he's fighting against you, huh, he now has got to fight for you in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hundredable, shake it well, system world doors is opening unto you in this place in the name of Jesus. So God says it's like Peter. When they come for you, do not deny them huh? in the name of Jesus. He says, uh, he says, he says, the reason why you're away from your sons and daughters in the name of Jesus. He says, I meant for you to allow them to go that way in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Huh? For you to go your way in the name of Jesus. To preserve them in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place in the name of Jesus. Handle shaking. Oh God. God says, um, I had 
to separate you from your family in the name of Jesus. Because Satan would have killed them in the name of Jesus to get you to go the way which way it is the way you're supposed to go. In the name, he says, so don't worry about them in the name of Jesus. He says, speak in the name of Jesus and tell the angelic beings what to do in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Under the bush, shake it in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. oh. Death awaits at the gate, but death is closed in the name. The, the, the gates to death is closed in the name of Jesus. In the, in the name of Jesus. Loose this word. Handorobo shake it in. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, God. In the name of Jesus. Handorobo shake it in. Yerebo shake it in. Handorobo shake it in. Oh, oh my God, it's gone. Help me, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, gates, gates, in the name of Jesus. I glorify God, gates. Doorways, it's all I can hear, doorways is open. But y'all, it just tickled me. God is talking, somebody's been praying. Somebody's, world leaders, people has been meeting. And I just keep hearing world systems. Quicker pass is being made straight. Quicker pass is being made straight in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, okay. I can say this. Um, uh, whenever, okay, whenever I fall into these sleeps and it, and whenever they're depositing stuff into me, I can get up. So a lot of times you gotta watch when you walking in the spirit like that. You got to watch because everything that is going on in your life, I said, God, I got to see. I see parallel. It's a parallel realm. And we're looking at it in the natural. But what's in the natural is another It's another whole world in the name of Jesus. A spiritual world, a spiritual realm that is going on around us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Handorobo shekere. <laughs> oh, my God. The finances that you need is on the way in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. In the name of Jesus. Everybody just wanna they just wanna shoot from here to glory and, and walk into the uh prosperity. You can just cannot walk into the prosperity of God in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Thank you, Jesus. Whoo! My God. Okay, I can go about my day. World system. It's so funny. It grows bad though. My hair, it, it'll grow bad. This is my hair. It's just been just been trickling out. Stop pulling my hair in the spirit in the name of Jesus. I glorify God, most high saints of God, on this most lovely day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. And if you know God didn't drop anything that's in my spirit about this world system, it's coming together. The latter day church. We're being prepared for the latter day church in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Handrobo shatakadi. Joy is coming on the other side in the name of Jesus of this. I glorify God. Most high saints of God on this lovely day. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a, a, a day with my grand grands and just be silly all day long and, and, and fight with them. So on this life's a grand day, y'all be blessed. Blessed and highly favored. As I pray, y'all pray. Because God is do God is doing some things. And I have learned along my way. I was a very young child with premonitions and not even know what not even know what premonitions was. And I never ever told a soul that, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm seeing stuff. How could you? I'm just, you know, I'm a child with imagination. So I'm just assuming that it was imagination. But when I met Jesus, the first time, my first prayer meeting, I went out and I saw that glowing, I saw that glowing cross. It has had me chasing after Jesus ever since. I want to see. That's been my prayer. God, help me. I want to be a walking epistle. And you got to be cautious about what you pray for. Because it, 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 it hurts. It hurts. It, it does. It hurts. You've got to be broken. God desires a broken heart and a contrite spirit. 
it's only by the grace of God that I can stand here and I can I can sit here and I can um, give what it is that God is deposited in me. Because had I did it in my own state of mind, I've seen people lose their minds. I've, I've seen them. I've seen them kill themselves. I've seen. I've seen suicide. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Okay. By my knee. Uh, it was. It's warfare that I was going through. And yesterday, I was. Uh, I was getting ready to pray, and I was gonna get ready to lay down. And I was praying, you know, over the infirmities of my stomach. And um, I literally saw a form image. It got up and walked away. The pain got up and walked away. I mean, literally, just literally got up and walked away. And my knee, uh, okay, uh, it's a lady that I just met. She went, she just had knee surgery. And I didn't know it until they told me she had knee surgery. And Satan said, that's because I, I was telling a friend, I said, well, I'm not worried about nobody attacking me because if somebody attacked me, uh, I'm going to pop them in their knee. So he said, well, that was my knee that you were shooting. So he sunk the pain over here to sit with me in the name of Jesus. And if you want to read Psalms, Psalms 107, 109 and 6, I think Psalms 109 and 6, it says, and that's what I be praying that I say, sit and bow wicked, uh, wicked, at the at the gates. Let's let's get there. Psalms uh, and I and I'm told. Okay, 109, 109 is. Okay, yeah, it says, set thou a wicked man over him, and and let Satan stand at his right hand. So at the gates, whenever you know you praying for uh, a, a like a head spins of protection around you, and. I heard final destination. He said, that's what your fa he said, he said, had your family came together and they recognized your gift before you were spiritually um, equipped. And this is nothing I take light. And I say this in the humblest manner. He said they would have used it to do more corruption in the land, in the name of Jesus. And y'all would have been playing with death. Y'all would have been escaping death in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. So therefore, Satan would have took you out in the name of Jesus. To get those who are playing and taunting death in the name of Jesus. That's what, that's what God gave me. And, and I be praying that. And whenever I pray that, I literally go, my body, my body will literally go through um, a phase of the attack. And, I, and God says, he says, don't you die on the journey. He says, because what you're going through, he said, it's going to fade in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. So I'm, I'm here to tell somebody, I don't care what it looks like and what you're going through. Suicide is going to knock at your door. It's just like he said, smite it with blood, blood, uh, blood and let death pass by. They say, death, get thee behind me. God says, don't you die on the journey. Y'all be blessed. Mwah.